G'day guys, welcome back to week number three on the un Uncuffed Build. We don't have a lot to update with on the build this week. Uh, early in the week I sent it over to the Auto Alex to get um, all the wiring sort of roughed in and, um, and ready. Uh, due to prior commitments we had with other builds and things, we had to spend the week getting them up, done and out of the way so that the rest of this month we can focus solely on finishing Uncuffed. It's getting the wiring put in. It's only getting roughed in. We've still got to do the whole rear end work and, and mount the motor and all that sort of stuff. But we, as I said, we just want to utilize the time that we couldn't be working on it uh, to get someone else to, to do their bit. Along with getting all the wiring and electrical done, we've received some products from our friends over at Davies Craig uh, that we can open up and have a look at. Davies Craig being designed and manufactured in Australia, we really like to keep the work and money within Australia. So we'll open up and have a bit of a look. Dual fan mounting kit, that'll be for the thermos and the radiator. Digital gauge thermatic fan and EWP switch. Go through that in a minute. Couple of fittings. Big transmission cooler. Bit of a notepad. Header kit. Couple of thermos. So in terms of cooling the motor, we'll, we'll be running a couple of thermos on the, on the radiator. Um, we're going to be recessing the radiator under the, under the radiator support, just to allow room for the blow drive, the magneto, the fuel pump and things like that. Um, and we're going to hopefully recess it enough so that you get plenty of clearance between the thermo fans and all that assembly. Um, as far as thermo fans, we're running a a 12 inch and a 14 inch high power fan. Um, they flow an incredible amount of air for, for the size of the fan that they are, which is, which is handy. Um, along with the fans, we also have the EWP150 water pump, which is an electronic water pump. It comes with an LCD digital controller, which helps regulate the, the flow of the, the um, the fans and the water and things like that. And it all works in conjunction with one another. So that we're set in a, should be in here. We're set in a coolant uh, temp sensor, either in line with one of the radiator lines or we might even set it straight into the end tank on the radiator. And what that does is it helps pick up the signal of, of how hot or cold the motor is and it'll regulate it there. We can also set it up in, in the controls to continue running the, the water pumps and the fans after the car's been shut down. So for example, you might have finished the skid or, or finished the cruising or, or racing or whatever it might be, drive it back to your pits and you want to keep cooling that down so that you can get straight back out onto the pad after you've changed a set of tyres and it's not going to be running red hot. So it's really handy like that. This is, it. This is the EWP150 pump. Um, it's their largest pump of their range. It's, it's designed to take just a standard water pump, like a, a, um, a rubber radiator hose or something like that, but it's also internally threaded, which will be running a, a Dash 16 AM fitting for our, um, on our radiator, the pumps and, and, and up to the motor and things like that. So we'll be running all the braided line that, along with that. As well as running the water pump to get it to a made up to the motor, we have a big block shave adapter kit in here. It'll come with water pipe, a couple of adapters that bolt onto the heads uh, or the front of the motor there, and a few other fittings and stuff like that. And we'll just adapt them into our into our braided line setup to all work. Uh, a couple of fittings that screw into the pump, 
to, to mate it up to the braided fittings, braided line. So that's it for the motor. Um, so just to recap, two fans on the radiator, uh, big water pump, and the and the header adapter flanges and things like that to get it all to work. From there we have here we have a transmission core. This is for six cylinder vehicles. What we're going to be using this one for is our power steering. We're going to run an electric power steering pump, an Astra pump. A lot of guys run them. Um, they're super handy for. Uh, not having to run a mechanical pump on the front of the motor and things like that. It allows for a neater engine bay setup because you don't have to run a pump in there. You can remote mount the Astra pump anywhere you want in the car. Um, they're also really handy because it helps with regulating uh, flow and temp. Because, I mean, obviously being a burnout car, or you know, we use them a lot on the drift cars and things like that. High revs can kill pumps really quickly. So by running a, an electric power steering pump, it helps you regulate the flow and things like that. Um, along with running that, we're gonna run a cooler, a transmission cooler on the power steering, and, and that'll just keep the temps consistent. Um, you see burnout cars and things these days, they're really stepping up. We do, obviously you would have seen our steering lock kits and things like that, and Whilst it is just a burnout car, they, these guys are absolutely steering, steering the ass off of them and, and treating them almost like a drift car uh, on the pads. So going from you know lock to lock, back and forth, and things like that can really can really increase uh, power steering temps. So really handy to have one of them on there um, to just regulate those temps. This is just a dual fan mounting kit. That's what we'll be using to mount the the thermos onto the radiator. All right. On this car, we're going to be running a uh, fully built turbo 400 with a good size stallion and things like that. Um, Burnet cars have an issue with heat because you're not moving, you're not getting airflow through the motor and, and through the front of the car and the, and the coolers and things like that. You're essentially just going around the circle. So if you don't have the cooling up standard. Cars can overheat really quickly. I mean, a burnout might only go for a minute and a half, two minutes long, but in that time, temperatures can soar through the roof, especially on burnout pads like Summonats and things like that, where it's a small pad with high concrete walls. There's just the temps down on the pad can, can get astronomical, and, um, and, and it's really hard to manage those temps sometimes. So, what we've chosen to run is twin coolers and, and fan setups on the transmission. We'll open up now, a bit of a squeeze. Again, Davis Craig sell these as a, as, a, as a kit form, as a combo, so you'll find that it comes with not only the cooler, it'll come with the appropriate size thermo fan, um, relays, wiring, uh, mount kits, all that sort of stuff. It'll come with some hose, a little bit of a wiring loom and things like that. So, very well built, very well designed um, coolers and, and whatnot, and, and again, it's, it's all Australian made and, and designed in Australia and things like that. Got a really good aftermarket, uh, after sales support. Uh, any questions and things you have for them, they've always been super helpful for us to answer anything that we need, uh, it needs to know. On these transmission coolers, we're going to run a, a thermo on each. Um, to, to regulate temps, but but not only that, I mean it's it's quite common to set it up on a relay just with the just with like a missile switch, like a, a switch to flick it on and off. But when you're talking about transmissions, it might be five, six, seven thousand dollars or more. Um, you know, engine combo combos that people could spend forty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars on and things like that. You don't want to rely on going, oh shit, I'll, I'll flick, the, flick the, the, the fans on or flick them off and things like that and constantly have to be watching your gauges during the skids and whatnot. So it's, it's, it's super helpful to be able to set them up on, on a uh, automatic uh, thermatic fan switch and things like that which, which will monitor what, what the temps of the transmission are or, or the engine are and, and it'll, it'll adjust it accordingly. Um, and it just helps you focus on the driving rather than focus on, uh, you know, what the engine and drive line sort of doing. So this one here is a um, 
It's called a digital digital gauge thermatic fan and EWP switch. What this does is we'll wire it up with the relays and all that sort of stuff onto the fans for the transmission cooler. But it allows us to set it allows us to set temperatures of where they all come on at, where the fans come on at. And not only that, but but you can run it, you can run it in sync with a couple of fans and a couple of different temperatures and things like that. Um, and it comes with a neat little gauge here, digital sort of a gauge to to you know be able to set those temperatures and things like that. As well as running uh, thermo fans, you can also set it up onto a separate EWP electric water pump, uh, any of their any of their models, which is really handy if, if for example you set. You, know, you, you could run it on your engine en engine temperatures and, and thermo fans like that as well, and set it like that. You don't have to buy you don't have to buy their you know electric water pumps and run those digital ones. You can run just one of these um, thermatic fan switches on a on an auxiliary uh, thermo fan, but you can also run it on a auxiliary water pump, and you can use their water pumps with a factory manual sort of water pump on the motor. You know, so you, you might want you might want to have you know have it running as it is, no worries. But then you might be towing, or or you know, you might have it you might have it so you have your normal pump and you're on cruising, but then you pull over into the burnout pad and you want to give it some stick. Um, you can set it up to have an auxiliary water pump as well, like maybe the EWP 115s or something. And then when it gets to a certain temperature, not only will they kick in the fans. Uh, kick in an extra fan, but it then can also kick in the electric water pump and help with the flow, which is really good. Um, so that's that's what we're going to set it up. And even for these, they they do have the um, in here somewhere. It has the temperature sender, so that you can you can have it in here. There's still some goodies stuck in here, but you can have it set up so that. It measures the temperature of the actual fluid, or you can have it set up that it just measures the the temperature of the air that's flowing through the cooler at the time, um, which makes it a little bit simpler for install and things like that. Here we go. So I've got a little probe on here on the loom and things like that. Um, what else? On the engine cooling, uh, by running and running electric water pump, they're super handy because you don't have to run a thermostat in the car. Um, some people can have dramas with thermostats, whether it be you know, being a sticky thermostat, open or shut, or just they can't seem to get it to monitor the right temperature range and things like that. You know, by running a, running an electronic system, it's, you can do away with all that old technology and you can have it regulated through the computer so that the, the electric water pump will actually you know, regulate the flow of the water as opposed to uh, the old school setup of being a mechanical pump, so it's only going to flow what the engine's revving at, and then it's regulated from a thermostat. So it's really handy to go for that sort of setup. Um, again, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but Davis Craig also have the header adapter kits to suit um, small block, big block, uh, LS motors, uh, and and Ford. Ford V8 range of motors and things like that as well. So, for our customers, the GDO guys in in, uh, in the US and things like that, it'll work for your cars as well. Um, if you are interested in purchasing it, DavisCraig.com.au, or if you are stateside, DavisCraig.com. Um, the guys will have a nice little trade store set up at Summit at 33, so you can go there and check them out. Uh, they usually have pumps set up there, flowing through tanks and things like that. They're, they're, they're thermo fans and stuff. It's really good gear and it'll give you opportunity to sort of go down there and check it out and see how, how well all this stuff sort of built and you'll see it in person. So um, really happy to be using their products on, on our car. Um, we will do another video in a couple of weeks time of us actually fitting it. So you'll see it all fit, fitted to the car and um, you know how we do the wiring and, and how we plumb it all up and all that sort of stuff. So we'll try and explain a bit, a bit better on on, on how it all gets mounted up and wide and things like that, but without having a car here. Um, I just thought we'd do a bit of an unboxing, show you what we've got, we've made a bit of a mess here. Um, but yeah, we can just, you know, you can sort of see it, see what goes on, see what goes into 
these big burnout cars and, and, and see how involved the builds are. Um, you know, to, to run a car at the top of the field, uh, of, you know, in which Uncuffed will be running, um, you do have to have the right products to do the, to do the job. So, um, pretty cool, pretty cool build so far. Alright guys, so that's it for this week's uh, episode. Uh, check back in next week to see what we've got going on. There's going to be plenty going on because um, we've got all our little builds and jobs finished off for the year and we will be full seeing my head on, on Uncuffed. Um, I'll get all this packed up and um, yeah, when the car gets back, we'll, we'll get straight into it. So, check back in.